Welcome to my channel. My name is Karina. I have been asked by a friend if I would share my cookbook collection. And I got to thinking about it and I thought, you know, that would be a really fun thing to do. I know I love cookbooks and I have collected quite a few over the years. Now I have had to get rid of some cookbooks, but I have gotten cookbooks for gifts. I have seen things on television, so I grabbed a hold of cookbooks because of commercials or shows on Food Network. Or I'll be just walking into Sam's or Walmart and I see something that catches my eye and I grab a hold of that cookbook. And I also have some older cookbooks that are almost like antique from the 1950s and so on. That when I was watching Mad Men, I spotted it in the background and I quick jumped on Amazon and I found it and I ordered it. So let me show you my cookbook collection and some of the recipes that I make out of them. For quite a few years, I had watched Food Network and I really enjoyed watching Semi Homemade. Sandra Lee was Semi Homemade. And by watching her shows, I realized that I did not need to make so much work out of cooking, that you can just do Semi Homemade and it turns out just as good, if not better. So let me show you these books. These are magazines and they are Sandra Lee Semi Homemade. You can usually find these at Barnes and Noble and I find them in the area of Starbucks or in the magazine area. Most times it's in the Starbucks area. I really love these magazines. If I remember to get them, because they come out per season, so if I remember, I try to grab one because these are full of recipes, lots of different things in here, and crafts. She does some sections of entertaining and gives you ideas in food that you can entertain guests with. And she does themed stuff. So this is like Asian food that you can entertain with. And she keeps it really, really simple. So this is the Valentine's celebration. She shows you pictures of that. And then the meal that can go for Valentine's Day. She took a plate and she wrote, I love you with chalk. She even shows you things to how to create the look. A happy birthday. So she decided to do fondue. Little just appetizers. She has drinks, but you can always make them either with alcohol or without. Okay, so that was this one. And then there's this one. It was like around Easter and springtime. And everything, because it's semi-homemade, it's not full on, you have to do everything homemade. You know, it's semi. There's things that she does, like she'll buy a rotisserie chicken or something like that to make it a lot simpler to creating a meal. These are different ideas for bowl type recipes, salads, Easter elegance. Then she just gives ideas for Mother's Day and things like that if you're entertaining for Mother's Day and you can always just choose a like pick and choose little things out of her magazine to add to your celebrations. These are a strawberry lemonade sandwich cookie. She puts a lot of detail in her recipes. Isn't that crazy? Can you imagine all those marshmallows? This one is a cottontail cocktail and then St. Patrick's Day. And sometimes she just gives you ideas just to celebrate spring and different things to do with get-togethers. So, and this was a two-sided. This one had Sandra Lee cocktail time and then you flipped it over and it was this one. She also has cookbooks and I really like these cookbooks. It makes it simple. I make our chicken and dumpling out of this book. I have made this creamy chicken noodle soup. It's really good. And I make our French onion soup and it's very simple and very delicious. Her cookbooks are like the magazines. She does semi-homemade 
And she breaks these up into different, like that one's Mexican. She has her cocktails. She has appetizers. I mean, it's full of things to so just lemon chicken, teriyaki salmon strips. In the very beginning, she goes through and gives you a help, full healthful pantry. She breaks things down, explains things to you. Really good. These would make really good gifts for somebody too. And then if you flip to the back, she does desserts. So that is this one. This one is her slow cooker recipes. It's just full of different recipes. Kung Pao game hens. <laughs> Chicken with bacon, mushrooms, and onions. Risotto, blue cheese, figs, and arugula. It's stuff that isn't hard to find either. Like a lot of recipes I found where I, I want to make them and I can't find the ingredients that they're telling me. And But these aren't like that. And there's, it's just a wide variety. There's fish and duck and chicken and soups and desserts and get you to desserts. Here's some soups. Lemon blueberry cake. Chocolate peanut butter brownies. Okay. And that is her slow cooker recipe book. And then this one is just desserts. It is full of different desserts. If you have church functions, family gatherings, get-togethers, it has all of the stuff that you can make just something special. This is just angel food cake. Simple, 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 but yeah, look at that presentation. It's so pretty. And then she broke this one up into actors, actresses, and this is Sharon Stone's Sexy Sweet Chocolate Layer Cake. Oof, doesn't that look divine? Queen Latifah's Silky Smooth Apricot Mini Cakes. And then she starts doing fun cakes for birthdays. Life's a Beach Cake. How fun. Look at that. I love stuff like that. Holiday stuff is just so fun. And then she breaks it up. Valentine's Day, Easter, Mother's Day. She goes all the way through the year to give you ideas. Truffles. Ooh. So that's this one. It shows you all that stuff and how to do it. How simple is that? And yet, how cute. Even classroom parties, these the, some of the stuff would be good for. This school does not exist anymore. It's Longview, and it was in Midland, Michigan, and this was Justin's kindergarten class, and they put together a cookbook at his school. And this is one of our recipes that we really like out of this cookbook. And it's just chicken, some Lowry season salt, canola or vegetable oil, and some Parmesan cheese. And it is really good. But these little homemade books from people that have tr tried and true type recipes where they've already had them, it's family favorites. I just think these kind are so nice to have. I'm glad that I got this when he was in kindergarten. Over the years, I've gotten cookbooks for gifts, and I love that. I think getting a cookbook for a gift is just one of the best things. Let me show you what I got for gifts over the years. This one, actually, Mrs. G, I've talked about her here on my channel. She gave this to me and Jason for our wedding. Um, she actually gave it to me on my bridal shower. This has all the recipes of the people that I grew up with in our church because I'd went to a Christian school for three years. And so it's just so sweet to see their names, you know, and the people who I know through, through this book. And I can relate the recipes to those women. But this is also where I get, and this is a mess, 
yeah it's a complete mess but these no bake cookies i make them oh my goodness these have been a family treasure and this was one of my best friends mom and this is her recipe and i use this a lot when i only use this when i make no bake cookies and this is where i got the tater tot casserole i shared here on my channel and this was my teacher Carrie Kritzman was my teacher at that time and so I just think of her every time I make tater tot casserole because this is her recipe and then this pretzel salad is fantastic it's got pretzels and cream cheese cool whip strawberry jello oh my this is really good this one I got from Jason's mom and I got this one from Jason's mom this is the Ogemaw County Fair it's in Michigan and it's just all of these recipes my favorite room they like their kitchen the best and then this is just taste from the country this is just good old fashioned recipes things that you just don't see much anymore it's goulash sloppy joes Cakes and cookies, candy testing, that's nice to have. Apple dumplings, fried apples, apple crisp. Me and Jason got to go to a Guy Fieri cooking show one year. Well, after we watched his cooking show, it was live. It was amazing. If you ever get to go to one of his cooking shows, definitely don't pass it up. He is a very good host and he puts on an excellent show. Well, after we seen the show, we had to grab a hold of his book. Let me show you. Guy Fieri, cooking it, living it, loving it. <laughs> I haven't made any of his recipes out of here. They look very good. Not that one, ew, that's calamari. But I have not attempted to make these. Some of them are, they take a little more work than just your normal recipe. So I would probably make some of this stuff more on the weekends so that I had more time to make dinners. He put on such a good show. It was really good. It gives you all kinds of little stories and things. I would not want to live without this book. I am sure almost every home has this book. It's got everything. It's got your measurements. Oh my goodness, I make well, one of the things I make are these stuffed shells and they are the enchilada stuffed shells. They're page 322 and these things are fantastic. If you are looking for a good recipe, you might wanna make those for your family. They're so good. I have it marked by this plastic part, but this just breaks down everything. I mean, you have everything in this book. This would be a really good gift too. You have vegetables and fruit and breads and desserts and like I said, measurements, ingredient substitutions. Yeah, this is a really good book. Cakes, they even show you how to cut cakes. Very detailed, very detailed. It'd be great for a beginner cook. When Mad Men had come out, I fell in love with that show. Well, one of the scenes, there was a cookbook sitting in the background and I spotted it. So I jumped on Amazon and I looked it up and I found it. <laughs> I couldn't believe I had found it because I really didn't think that I would with it being, you know, from the 1950s, but I did. Let me show you. But look, it was $1.95 back in the day. Oh man, I can't believe it. And then this is another cookbook that I got that is just, I found at an um, antique store and I just love antique cookbooks. So this just has lots of things that we just don't cook like this anymore. And I love to just thumb through this and just look. Look, there's somebody stuck another recipe in it. People have written in it. I just love that. And the pages are kind of worn, kind of green. Quick breads. It's got some good stuff in it. Broiler meats. This is another recipe that somebody stuck in here. Okay, and the Mad Men, this is a hostess cookbook. So this is just so much fun to look through. Wow. 
Wow, can you imagine? Isn't that just pretty? Ham buffets tailored to two seasons. Spring ham buffet. They give you all the recipes and how to do it. Easy refrigerator rolls. Oh my, look at this. It's party carts. <laughs> I love it. I love stuff like this. Bright little brunches and lunches. Here's your after dinner coffees. A brunch. Does your brunches look like this? <laughs> A club luncheon. <laughs> it just makes you smile looking at it. Teas and receptions. Two table bridge luncheon. I don't know if this is on Amazon anymore. If it is and you love this kind of stuff, just to look through, this would be a good coffee table book for people just to look through and set it on your coffee table. But I love it. I'm so glad I found it. Spur of the moment dinners. French chocolate. It just goes on on snacks at five or midnight for entertaining party pizza. <laughs> Red, white, and pink say happy Valentine's Day. A Valentine luncheon. Ooh. Wow. Valentine cake. Twin hearts cake. Make your summer parties special. And then of course, I am addicted for some reason to cooking magazines. I really like Food and Family Magazine. I like Taste of Home. I grab a hold of things for just specifically for the holidays like craft magazines. And I really love to just thumb through those magazines and find some special things to add to our holiday table. I love to collect magazine cookbooks. This is all stuff for like 4th of July, summer type meals, luau chicken sandwiches, create a cookout and they tell you like your main dish, appetizers or salads and then desserts to go with it. They do that throughout the whole book. Sometimes you just kind of get stumped on ideas for entertaining and the holidays and cookbooks really help out. So that's the Taste of Home Great American Cookout Book magazine. And then Crock and Girls, oh my goodness. These guys are amazing. They do simple, simple recipes, but it's all done in crock pots. They start with breads, they do desserts, they do soups, they do meals, I mean, they do lots. I I have done cooking on my channel using crack and girl recipes and I have not had one I don't think that we didn't like. Bacon wrapped pork tenderloin. Well, that looks good. Desserts and drinks. You can find a lot of the recipes online too. Oops, I'm sorry. Blocked your view there of that delicious peppermint fudge brownie. How silly of me. <laughs> Bread pudding. Pumpkin pie in a crock pot. Apple dumplings. It's just nice when you're doing a lot of cooking, maybe you can have dessert in your crock pot going while the oven is already full. That helps out tremendously. S'mores cake, enchiladas, pumpkin apple enchiladas. But a lot of these recipes you could probably find online if you look up Crocking Girls. This one I grabbed because I need some Halloween ideas. So it's the Taste of Home Halloween. You can find these usually up by the cash registers. Very cool. They actually give you ideas on how to do pumpkins. They show you how they taped it off and spray painted it. Skeleton bones. <laughs> how fun. Wouldn't it be fun for just for a snack for your kids, your young kids? 
Can't go wrong with Taste of Home. Here are some more cookbooks that I truly enjoy having. These are always up by the checkouts. And when I'm standing there in line, I'll usually grab one. If I see things that are simple, that I know that we would like, I pick it up. So this one was, is Halloween. This one I've had for many years. This is a Pillsbury one. I've actually made recipes out of this one and they are really good. But this one is old. It's a holiday planner. Taste of Home Easter. It just gives you just some ideas, things that you just don't think about. This one's a Thanksgiving one. This one is freezer meals and I need to look through that and make freezer meals one day. It's something that I have been desiring to do for quite a while and I really want to get into making freezer meals. And this one is Christmas cookies and bars. I hope you have enjoyed looking at my cookbooks with me as much as I have enjoyed sharing this with you. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you soon.